Check this out. Broadcasting live worldwide. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Yeah, I can. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Have faith, let it begin. (laughs) One day you'll say it. (laughs) Can you say have faith, let it begin? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. Today is August 16th, 2021. Folks, let's do an episode called Five Minutes or Less. Have Faith, Let It Begin starts right now. Start the clock. We believe that each and every day when we go to work, we get up with the intention of having a good day. We wake up, we get prepared to go to work, and sometimes we say to ourselves, I'm going to have a good day today. I'm going to get up and I'm going to help change the world. I'm going to help other people. I'm going to make sure that when I go into work, I'm going to give it my 110%. Maybe for the past couple of weeks or maybe the past month, you've done about 90%. But today, just for today, you want to give it your 110%. You get to work. You start doing all the things you need to do. You get everything accomplished. You clock out of work. You head home. And maybe things at home aren't at 100%. You say to yourself, hmm, what could I have possibly done different? Everything at work went well. I get home and I just don't feel like doing much. I feel like lounging, just relaxing, just giving it 60%. Is that okay? Of course it is. Listen, We can't always be at 110% every single day. What we can be is ourselves. We don't have to put a number by who we are. We don't have to declare a percentage to fulfill our day. What we should do is feel up and to the task. And that means be yourself. Don't change for anyone. Never bring your negativity from work home with you. Give your family the best of you. Give the family you, your whole self, and nothing else. Nothing can be far greater than being who you are because you are something special. You are created in God's image, and God loves you. God believes in you. God trusts you. And God will never leave your side. So when you complete your day, And you go home and you feel like just taking a step back, putting your feet up, trying to relax. Maybe just spending time with your loved ones. Maybe just taking a break and watching a movie, reading a book, having a conversation with your child, saying to yourself, maybe, just maybe, I'll have a nice evening with the kids or with your husband or your wife. That is okay. Show your family the best part of you. If you feel as if that best part of you has been on vacation for quite some time, it's now time to come back. Because some of us truly never left. We just forgot who we were. I believe that every once in a while we need a jolt, a shock and awe value to our lives and to who we are. Because sometimes we find ourselves forgetting who we are. It's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy to find ourselves caught up in the negativity that's happening all over the world. 
It's so easy to get caught up in gossip. But what is not easy and is what is most important is remembering to never forget who we are. That may not be easy for some of us because when we go out into the world, we become somebody that we're not to please others. So let me close with this. I believe in you. Have faith, let it begin. Family, we believe in each other. You don't have to be somebody you're not just to make others like you. Be who God intended you to be. Be that person that is good, that believes in themselves, that believes in others. Be an inspiration, a role model. And if you have children, have your children know who you are so that they can one day shine like the rest. Let me close with this. My final thought. If you're a person that doesn't believe in yourself, if you're a person that always believes that you're going to fail, I want you to stand up. I want you to rise. For those of you that are driving your car, hold on to the steering wheel because I guarantee you, you will succeed. And that is today's message. In five minutes or less. Have a good day. May God bless you. And never forget, have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.